All right, here I'm about to do a video on how to change out your heating heating element in your um, stove. Um, this is the first time I've ever um, changed a heating element in the stove before, but um, it shouldn't be too hard. So if you look right here closely, everyone's stove usually has some grease and grime that has got down at the um, inside of the stove on the element. And if you look to the left just right there, you'll see that um, splash right there. That's where the um, the heating element basically had a break in it. And it, I saw like, you know, uh, it turned really red and, you know, it was smoke and everything. You know, I didn't know what was there going on. There we go. Got the Amazon heating element. So I'm going to open the box. I'm going to change the heating element. And, um, you know, a lot of times you can just... Usually, you would go and, um, you know, disconnect the stove and pull the stove out. But I can just go to the uh, breaker and, um, simple as that, just, uh, you know, I can um, turn the power on. All right, so I'm at the breaker box. I open it up and I find the one that says washer, dryer water heater range so you just look and it's number uh, number nine two four six eight okay number nine's over here because it goes two four six eight the uh, even numbers odd numbers over here so that's nine so basically I just turn it off and as soon as I turn it off boom watch I'm gonna flick it off and on but boom it's on and then you turn it off. Now it's safe to work on the uh, the stove because it's not getting power. All right. So one thing about the stove, on changing this element, you're not going to be able to see a whole lot inside of this stove um, unless you have a light and you've lit it lit up lit up the area pretty good. And uh, I'm trying to adjust the camera so it doesn't move on me while I'm moving. So that's what I'm doing right now. Okay, so that's it. So let me go in and start working on it. Try not to lean too hard on your uh, oven. The best place to lean your elbows would be right at the joint right here, right there where the oven opens. Don't lean further back where the handle that you open your oven is, because that could be a big problem. And I'm just using a, a regular adjustable wrench. Um, it probably would be better with a socket, like a small socket. But uh, if this doesn't work, then I'll be more than happy to go out to my truck and get one. So I'm just loosening this. And after you loosen it a little bit, up here I can turn it with my hands, which is a good thing. At least for a couple of turns anyway. And there we go. And then every time you loop around and turn it for some reason it doesn't want to turn the second turn so I gotta get it nice and loose there we go it's trying to come it's coming along and I see that the element has broken in half it just snapped in half see I definitely wasn't gonna have any luck with that one so I'm trying to pull it out now carefully. Okay. And I'm pulling it out. And it looks to be attached to something. Uh, some kind of fitting. So I'm just going to Got a wire attached to it. I'm just gonna snugly pull that wire out and boom. I've already got one half of it off in seconds. Alright, so I took the I took one side off and the other side was broken. That's where the uh, element uh, broke at. So now I'm gonna take the other side off right now. And like I said, don't lean up against just lean like right in here like 
down here where your uh, door entrance is don't lean all the way you know coming back this way because if you do you, you could risk the chance of breaking your door off all right I'm taking this inside off same thing turn the uh, wrench keep turning and when you pull out your element don't pull it out real hard because it's got that wire attached to it. You don't want to play games, okay? And just turn it. Any little adjustable wrench should work. I'm just turning it. Take the screw out here. And probably a good idea while you're doing this, go ahead and clean your stove before you put the new element in. That way you don't have to, you know, worry about nothing. And like I said, pull it out slow. Got the wire attached to it. There we go. And once it comes out, there you go. Wiggle that wire off. And that's it. Got both sides off. And I got the element out. This is the element. And you see where it had broke. Right here. It had burned its way through. And I'm about to install a new element. Like I said, you know, I'm gonna tighten up your stove. You know what I mean? Now that you got that, uh, now that you got that, let me get the camera ready for you. Okay. There we go. Now that you got the uh, element out, you can kind of get in here and take care of your business. You know what I'm talking about? Notice how I'm trying not to lean on that door because once you do, this video ain't gonna be able to help you. Alright? You can get all that get your stove right while you're here. And you ain't gotta worry about it later, you understand me? Alright. There we go. Get your stove right. stove <coughs> some strong stuff here all right so now you got that off you can go ahead and install your um element. all right here's what your new element should look like it comes in a plastic box well I took the box off of a plastic case and this one is made by electronics Electrolux. All right, and I'm gonna take that out. And we're gonna proceed. These tabs are facing up. Well, you have to adjust it your own way. I'm gonna adjust it in a second, but uh, I guess the tabs face the back of the oven, so it doesn't. Um, so you don't, uh, you tighten up the tabs to the uh, back of the oven. So that's what that is. I got it. I understand it. All right. Here we go. Let's get to it. So 
And now we take the tabs, I mean the uh, electrical part that came out, and I'm gonna attach it to the stove. Make sure you got the power off. That's very important. You're messing around with 120, I mean 240 volts here. So do not play. Alright. I got one end on. Looks like both ends went on successfully. Now, let me touch them again, make sure. This end's on real tight. This end seems like it's not as tight as the other one. But, uh, doesn't seem like it's going anywhere either. Alright, and now I squeeze them together, push them back up in there carefully. tight but they're going it's going all right and I push them up till it gets that tab the tab goes up there now I take that screw and I start screwing it in with my hand all right so the screw is trying to Catch. Let me tighten the screw a little bit. Alright, so one end is started. So now I'm starting the other end. Carefully kind of line it up and get that screw started. And that screw will start turning in, and then it seems to be good. Alright, so now I'm turning the screw, tighten it up. make money doing this. I'm not an appliance guy, but hey, people charge money. It's better than replacing the whole oven, huh? Alright, so now the tab is tight on this side. I'll do the same thing on that side. Tighten up the tab. So good. So it's your oven element. It's on, sitting on that, it's resting up there. So now I'm gonna turn the power back on to the uh, stove and see what we got. Slow. Let's see what we got. All 
Alright, I feel a little heat. Okay, so it is getting heat, you know. And I just cleaned the stove a little bit, and also, um, you know, my hands might have had a little grease in it from cleaning the stove, so uh, I know y'all can't see it, but that's what's burning off. So, uh, everything appears to be successful. I got some heat coming from the element. So there you have it, how to fix a stove element. This one's for a Kenmore uh, range. And uh, there you have it. Thanks for watching.